Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Caitlin Bristow and Jason Tardick's awkward run-in caught on film. Caitlin Bristow and Jason Tardick both attended the People's Choice Country Music Awards in Nashville, TN, this week. An awkward moment between them was caught on film. Stay on this page to see the cringy interaction. Bachelor Nation fans wonder about Jason Tardick's new relationship. Jason Tardick and Caitlin Bristow were a high-profile Bachelor Nation couple until they split in 2023. Fans spotted the signs that the engaged couple broke up months before it was officially confirmed. The telltale sign? Caitlin and Jason stopped posting photos together on social media. Jason has been dating TikTok star Kat Stickler for a few months. The new couple posted a lot of videos together online until recently. Bachelor Nation fans think Kat and Jason may have broken up because they haven't posted together in nearly a month. They do live in different states. Neither have addressed the chatter about their relationship status. Caitlin Bristow and Jason Tardick's awkward run-in caught on film. Jason Tardick and Caitlin Bristow both still live in Nashville. They don't really have any reason to interact now that they aren't sharing custody of their dogs. Both Bachelor Nation stars were in attendance at the 2024 People's Choice Country Awards in Music City this week. Kat Stickler didn't attend with Jason Tartik which could be another sign that their relationship is over. Caitlin Bristow also attended solo, despite heavy rumors that she's dating Tasha Adams' ex fiance Zach Clark. A video went viral on social media of Caitlin and Jason standing near each other on the red carpet at the event. While the two didn't interact, they seemed aware of each other's presence. Jason stayed focused on the person he was talking to, but Caitlin appeared to look over in Jason's direction. Watch the awkward moment. Caitlin addresses weird situation. Reporters and others on the red carpet noticed the awkwardness of the situation. E! News asked Caitlin Bristow about it directly. She said that it really wasn't as weird as it seemed. She continued, I'm in a good place, and I'm just like, yeah, I waved. It's all good. The Dancing with the Stars champ added that it wasn't the first time they've been in the same place since their breakup. They both attended former Bachelor host Chris Harrison's wedding just a few months after they broke up. The sun was beginning its descent over the picturesque skyline of Vancouver, casting a golden hue over the city's iconic landmarks. The air was crisp, carrying the faint scent of salt from the nearby Pacific Ocean. It was on such an evening that two familiar faces from the reality TV realm found themselves navigating the bustling streets, each unaware of the other's presence until fate decided otherwise. Caitlin Bristow, the radiant and ever-charming star of multiple Bachelor franchises, had decided to take a rare evening off. After months of filming and public appearances, she craved a moment of solitude. Clad in a casual yet stylish ensemble, a soft beige trench coat over a cozy knit sweater and dark jeans. She strolled through the vibrant neighborhood of Yelltown, her mind drifting to thoughts of upcoming projects and personal aspirations. Meanwhile, Jason Tardick, a rising personality known for his quick wit and magnetic presence on various reality platforms, was navigating the same neighborhood. Jason, sporting a sleek leather jacket and a casual t-shirt, was returning from a late dinner with friends. His phone buzzed incessantly with messages and notifications, a testament to his active social media presence and the constant buzz surrounding his burgeoning career. The intersection where their paths would cross was a charming little cafe, Brew and Bloom, known for its artisanal coffees and serene ambience. On this particular evening, the cafe was alive with the gentle hum of conversation, the clinking of cups, and the soothing strains of acoustic guitar music playing softly in the background. Caitlin, having wandered near the cafe to catch a glimpse of the sunset reflecting off the glass windows, decided to pause and enjoy a moment of tranquility. She stepped inside, 
greeted by the warm aroma of freshly brewed coffee and the friendly nods of the regular patrons. Choosing a cozy corner by the window, she settled into a plush armchair, pulling out a paperback novel to lose herself in its pages. At the same time, Jason, seeking a quiet spot to compose a few last-minute posts before heading home, entered the same cafe. He was immediately drawn to the barista, exchanging a few words before placing his usual order. With his coffee in hand, he scanned the room for an empty table, spotting one near Caitlin's spot. Unbeknownst to both, their paths were about to intertwine in the most unexpected way. As Caitlin reached for her cup, her elbow brushed against Jason's, sending his coffee wobbling precariously. Time seemed to slow as both their eyes met, hers wide with surprise, his filled with a mix of recognition and awkwardness. Caitlin, Jason managed, his voice tinged with disbelief. Yes, Jason, Caitlin replied, setting her book aside. Small world, isn't it? The cafe seemed to hold its breath, patrons around them watching the unfolding scene with bated curiosity. It was rare for these two stars to cross paths outside of the meticulously staged environments of their respective shows. Here they were, ordinary individuals in a moment of unintended collision. Jason, ever the charmer, attempted to smooth over the mishap. I'm so sorry about your coffee. Let me get you another one. Caitlin chuckled, the tension easing slightly. No harm done. I was just about to order another myself. As they both stood, the barista offered a sympathetic smile, quickly preparing another round of beverages. Caitlin and Jason found themselves awkwardly standing side by side, the initial embarrassment gradually giving way to a tentative camaraderie. So, how have you been? Jason asked, genuinely interested despite the unexpectedness of the encounter. Caitlin sighed softly, taking a seat once more. Busy as ever, you know how it is, but I'm managing. How about you? Jason nodded, pulling out his phone to check a notification. Same here, always something going on, but it's been good, keeps things exciting. Their conversation, initially strained by the awkward run-in, began to flow more naturally. They shared snippets of their latest projects, mutual acquaintances, and even a few laughs over the unpredictability of reality TV fame. The initial embarrassment faded, replaced by a surprising sense of familiarity and ease. As the evening progressed, other patrons began to realize who the duo was. Smartphones discreetly emerged from pockets capturing the candid moment of two reality TV stars navigating an unplanned encounter. The atmosphere around Caitlin and Jason shifted from curious spectators to supportive onlookers, offering smiles and encouraging nods. A young woman sitting nearby leaned over to her friend, whispering excitedly, Isn't that Caitlin from The Bachelorette and Jason from the latest season of Survivor? Her friend nodded, eyes wide with admiration. I can't believe they're having a normal conversation without cameras or drama. It's so refreshing. Caitlin and Jason, now more relaxed, began to talk about their shared experiences in the limelight. They discussed the pressures of maintaining a public image, the challenges of finding genuine connections amidst the chaos of fame, and the unexpected friendships that often blossomed from their shared journeys. You know, Caitlin mused, stirring her coffee thoughtfully, sometimes I forget what it's like to just have a normal conversation without a camera crew or a set of scripted scenarios. Jason laughed, the sound light and genuine. I hear you. It's nice to just be, us you know. Their conversation delved deeper, touching on personal dreams and aspirations beyond their current careers. Caitlin shared her passion for empowering women through various initiatives while Jason revealed his interest in exploring behind-the-scenes aspects of television production. As the evening light began to fade into the twilight, the cafe's ambience shifted to a more intimate setting. Fairy lights twinkled overhead, casting a warm glow over the tables. The acoustic guitar player transitioned to softer melodies, adding a touch of romance to the evening air. Caitlin glanced at her watch, a hint of reluctance in her eyes. 
I should probably get going. It's getting late. Jason nodded, standing up alongside her. Yeah, me too. It was really nice running into you, Caitlin. Caitlin smiled, a genuine warmth in her expression. Likewise, Jason. Maybe next time, under less awkward circumstances. They shared a brief, friendly handshake a gesture that encapsulated the unexpected camaraderie forged in that moment. As they parted ways, each felt a sense of contentment, a reminder that even amidst the complexities of fame, moments of genuine connection were still possible. Unbeknownst to them, their encounter had been captured by several smartphones, immortalizing the moment for their fans and followers. Within hours, snippets of the interaction began to circulate on social media, sparking a wave of excitement and curiosity among their respective fan bases.